Hey guys, I've been wanting to take a little time out of my busy schedule and do a screencast to show you how I ink blog. Uh, first, we start with um, a particular post uh, that I have written in ink. I prefer to use Microsoft's OneNote uh, to uh, do my inking in. Uh, here we have uh, uh, a particular um, uh, post that I have written. Um, in fact, it is a post uh, uh, to that's going to blog this. But at any rate, um, I write it out in ink, and then what I do is I uh, basically, using Microsoft OneNote, you can convert your ink to text. Bam, I can convert ink to text. Uh, it's already been done for sake of time. Uh, there is the text post of it. Um, then, uh, after I do that, um, I'll take notice that I have already the links that I want to use because uh, this will be um, uh, hyperlinked and searchable text. Uh, I've already taken time to get the links together that I want to put into uh, this particular post. So the next thing I would do is uh, try to get a graphic uh, of my particular ink. And uh, you can do that using uh, the capture of uh, uh, that Microsoft has a snipping tool or you can use Snagit uh, from TechSmith. Uh, what, I, what you would do is simply uh, using Snagit, that's what I use, capture and it gives you the ability to capture a particular region uh, of your text. Uh, so I've already done that. Um, then you can save it uh, to a particular place there it is ink blog how to uh, I've already done all that so I don't need to save it again uh, close out snag it um, so then when you have your raw graphic file what I do is I use Flickr and I use the Flickr uploading tool and I would place my ink blog post into there and uh, I would upload it bam to Flickr um, and then once it went up to Flickr if I've already done that I don't need to do that um, so let me get rid of that and then it uploads to Flickr so then I go to my Flickr account and um, uh, cl cl click or connect to that particular uh, graphic that file and uh, there's a little thing in Flickr that says all, all sizes uh, maybe I can just show you that real quick. Um, when you click on your particular graphic, there it is after it uploaded um, is a graphic. Um, then I would click all sizes and I would choose a size that I wanted to use to put onto my uh, blog. Uh, and what you would do that, uh, you get the your, uh, your URL and I would copy the URL um, however you desire to copy it and then I would go to um, a, a, a tool that I got from this guy named SumoCat who has a blog SumoCat Scribbles he created this uh, little utility this little application that would help to uh, make your ink uh, or your ink searchable, your text searchable, and to hyperlink your ink. Okay, so I have pretty much done uh, all of the hyperlinking, but let me just do the a couple more to show you exactly how it works. So, uh, I, you, I have my particular uh, area that I want to link. Uh, I want to link this area, make this a hot link. The tablet PC gets more and more mainstream. So, I go over to back to my OneNote where I have already put my links and I grab that particular link uh, where is that at there it is and I copy it no that's not it I don't want to copy that I want to copy this control go back here paste it and then click the screen and a little yellow bar comes up 
which is going to make this I'll scroll down to that particular thing this is now going to make this a hyperlink can adjust the size as you can see that's what I'm trying to do is adjust the size of it. Okay, size is adjusted. Let's see now. I got one more I wanted to do. I wanted to link to SumaCat. He has uh, been very generous creating this little tool. just caused it to link all right let me go back to build 52 yeah that's what happened and boom got my little link are in place and now I go to edit text and tags and I've done this primarily too and I go back to my OneNote and it has in it uh, the text and I would just copy the text like that copy uh, copy the text go to build 52 and I would paste it in there and then once you paste it in there then you can link your text and I've done that more the most for the most part so let me do my last part of linking as the tablet PC gets more mainstream boom there that put that link in there and the sumo cat boom that puts that link in there then you push build code and there it is down there it builds the code and I have them I have in this post a link to sumo cat where you can get your build 52 as you can see there talked about build 52 so then I control C I copy um, this so that now I can paste it into my blog and I like uh, sumo cat now you can look at his website on your own. I like to use Flock. This is the Flock uh, browser. That's what I use to um, blog. And it's great for blogging. So uh, it already has my blog site already posted in it. So I go to source and paste. And there is the, there is the source, the HTML code for my particular there it is boom and you see text is already built into it so you can read the text of the blog so that's done then I push publish and I publish my post and boom goes to my blog the halal report and there it is and as you can see the ink is searchable. Go to Build 52, that's Sumo Cat's blog. And you have the post about getting Build 52 so that you can do this. I hope that you've enjoyed this screencast on how to do a little ink blogging. Uh, take care.